hello 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 to my beautiful crafty creators and i am back i have my mold out this is the square shaped tray um we're gonna be putting these in all right and we're gonna do them just like our coasters all right um and so i'll go from there uh, I have my resin poured. This is for my first layer. So what I'm going to do is take and heat my uh, mold up. thought I picked everything out of this thing. I used my tape to get everything out, but somehow something else snuck back in there. So we're going to warm this up really quick. I've, I've also let my resin sit for a few minutes. Um, I have eight ounces here. So I'm just gonna start just like I did yesterday. I'm just gonna pour along. Um, I wish that this uh, tray was a diamond edge. I really, really, really do, but it's not. Um, don't worry, when, when you start looking for something, it'll pop up. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure they'll have the tray to go along with those coasters. I really am. So I'm just going in the corners really good. I try to um, make sure that my table was level again. <sighs> it's giving me ugh, all kinds of heartache. <laughs> but uh i think it'll it'll still get done it'll still be nice and we're gonna i'm just gonna pour the rest of this in here so that was eight ounces i can reuse this cup so just gonna take it and get all the remaining out and um since I wasn't doing anything besides this this part right here and I wasn't touching any of the resin, I decided to uh, save those gloves. I'm pretty sure on the next part that I will need them. So, um, I, I'm gonna get better y'all with this arm um, thing. It's just sometimes when I'm trying to explain something, the words just do not flow the way that they need to. And when that happens, I'm in a moment of thought. Just a, just a very quick moment. But, so there. So now what I wanna do, I see just a couple of bubbles. But what I'm doing is I'm just going in on the sides and everything just to make sure that it's nicely coated, all right? Um, it did help a whole lot with the pinholes that I got. I still got one or two, but um, it did tremendously better. So um, I'll probably be going doing this more often because I really don't like those little holes. I don't, oops, I almost dropped that all the way out. So everything look, looks nice to me. I'm gonna heat it up really quick. I'm, I'm so in love with those coasters. I really am. I'm in love with them. In case you didn't know, <laughs> I'm definitely in love with them. And for me to go and make a tray, <laughs> yeah, I'd say I'm in love with them. So let's get this uh, warmed up here. 
the first layer is pretty much boring but I, I just have to let you see what I'm doing and just in case there's someone new who'd like to try this method um, it's not hard at all trust me I already have my my glass mixed so yeah I'm gonna get this really warm y'all really warm I'd like to have this done today, but I'm not sure. But I think I see something in there. I want I want this ready so that you can have this um, later tonight. But I started so late because I'm just coming from the um, having some tests done. So. I started late. Oops, I'm missing. Got the paper towel in there. How about that? So when you look over to the side, you can see if there's something in your resin. All right. How in the world do I see a piece of glitter? Or is that on the... No, it's... I think that's... It may be on the bottom. The bottom of the mold. Um, I don't too much see anything else. Um, this layer will be covered. You know, it, it'll be covered just like I did the other one, so. Okay. There's a bubble here. As if it do not want to you know, rise to the top. But I just helped it rise to the top. <laughs> Cause uh, we don't want that. It's another one. I got the one that rose to the top, but it's another one here. not gonna keep you okay I'm gonna let this thicken up some once it gets thicken up a little bit that I can put these in then I'll come back and do that all right so um yeah that's it for the first first part so I'll be back okay crafty creators I am back and I am about to um I just mixed some resin so I gotta take my gloves off for a minute could have did that while I was off camera, but uh, I did not think about it, y'all. So, forgive me, honey. Forgive me. Y'all, we already reached our 800 subscriber. So, y'all know what that means, right? Y'all remember? Hubby has to do that uh, painting. Um, and he will be doing that on the live, so... Make sure you're tuned in, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we go live every Monday, Wednesday, or um, oh, and Fridays, I'm sorry. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we go live. So I just want to make sure, in case you're just coming by the channel, want to make sure that you try to attend if you like. We do a lot of fun things in our like. And um, yeah, that's basically what I wanna say. Now this right here is, is totally not, it's cured enough so that I can put these rocks up there, these mirror chips, I'm sorry. But it's not cured enough to be digging and scraping. So just so y'all know that. Just trying to get this video out to you all today, but I don't think I'll be able to get it today. 
so I'm going to keep trying. I, I might be able to get it and I might not. So, and I'm just taking my spatula and I'm trying to like just, you know, not press so hard, but just let it glide across. If that makes sense. Just let it glide a little bit. Y'all, I just turned that air off and whoo, honey, 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 <laughs> honey, it's hot. It is hot. So I'm trying to get this. Um, <laughs> I think Stacy said it looked like a tornado. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. It do like well, it did look like a tornado though, but um, I just wanted something that so it wouldn't be exactly straight across. I don't know. It's cute though. I like those coasters. I really do. I'm I'm so into those coasters. Ooh, child. I am. Now I've got sixteen ounces of resin ready. The only thing I need to do is add my color and I'm adding my color with you all just in case you know it's somebody that comes across the video and they need to uh, see how to how much to put in their resin because uh, not everybody is completely old because therefore we wouldn't be growing if everybody was old so I just want to make sure that um, I go over a couple of things for the new people and I basically I just want you to know that um, I would love for you all <clears throat> to wear your PPE wear, wear your respirator y'all it's very important okay very very important and also um, use your gloves you want to make sure that you do that and another thing is um I don't have my respirator on. I do have it, but I don't have it on. But um, the reason I don't wear it is because um, it seems like I can't breathe <laughs> when I'm wearing it. You know, I started off trying to wear it and things like that. And I do have another mask, but um, I don't wear it either. But I do, however, have a humidifier. And that helps out a whole lot. A whole lot so <clears throat> I just wanted to run that by you all just so that you'll be aware okay I'm gonna keep this just like that let me get my gloves back on and I'll show you all uh, how I get the uh, put my resin not my resin but my mica powder I'll show you all about that as well. Because sometimes everybody don't know everything. And if they're searching in videos and things like that, and they come across your video, of course, you want them to see, you know, what it is that you're doing. Um, why is it that you're doing that? And just make sure that everything is, you know, when, when they do come, at least you'll let them know that, hey, you're supposed to do this or you're supposed to do that. And that being said, that's what I do. Just getting my sticks. Um, I'll start with the bronze stone. The bronze stone is by Mayspring. Um, by the way, this video will be sponsored by Mayspring. I forgot to um, mention that on the last video. So I'll just let it uh, be for this one. So I'm going in with a very decent size amount, all right? Very decent. And I'm putting this in four ounces. So hopefully that'll be enough. So close that up really quick. I got some ink on my table, y'all. Right there, transparent ink. Transparent ink, and 
this is the opulent tanzanite by may spring um the opulent tanzanite is from the uh geode art collection of may spring and the bronze stone is from the gem collection from may spring so i do have all collections i have the two cone two-tone collection which is what i started out with and i also have the geode art collection and the gem collection because i love may spring <laughs> Not because this video is sponsored, but because I love them and that's what I started out with. So, that's how it is. Okay, I'm back, Crafty Creators. I had to um, take a moment and talk to my husband for a second. So, I'm going to get a my graduated measuring cup again. Alright. And I'm just going to pour some in. And what I'm doing is just going across these rocks. These I keep saying rocks. If I say rocks and don't catch myself, just forgive me. They are mirror chips, okay? That's what they are, mirror chips. Okay. Hopefully, I can successfully do this one as well as I did the coasters or even better. I want to. But you all know that things don't turn out the same anyway. So I'm going to hope it does right. And if not, guess what? I'll try again. <laughs> I will try again. Trust me. I have no problems with trying again. Okay, so that's all the clear I'm going to put in it at this moment. All right, and what I'm gonna do is like gently just pat this down to make sure that it's down enough into the mold that we don't have to worry about um worry worry about it peeping up out of the top so that's that's what we're doing. Did I mess that up a little bit if I can push it back out. Boy, do not want to behave. <laughs> it's okay, though. Sometimes they don't want to behave, y'all. Look, see what I mean? See, I didn't do this on the little one. If they happen to escape, don't worry about it. Um, basically, you may find one or two that will escape anyway. So, just don't make a big deal out of it. Just grab it back and put it in its place. Okay. And we're continuing to make sure that this is down enough. And to me, it does seem like it is down enough. So, just trying to grab some, some of this resin put here okay I'm gonna keep on going all right so what I want to do now I'm gonna heat this up a little bit and like I did with the first one the the coasters I'm gonna do with this one as well so um, if I do kind of the same thing, then maybe I'll have the same output, all right? And that's what I'm looking for. Just making it so it'll be nice. Across and I see like one or two that wants to sit up higher than the rest but of course I still have a ways to go before I finish pouring on my resin try to get these the ones that want to 
jump away. Okay, so now, just as I did before, this is four ounces right here that I have. Um, I don't think I, well, I don't know. I'm not sure whether I'll need the four ounces completely. I think I will, but just in case, I, I've, I've got it. Okay. So I'm going to go on this edge. Just go on this edge here. Go all the way up. And I'm going to stay on that edge like that. All right. So I'm going to add me some heat to that. But I'll add some more. Or should I add some more now? I think I will. Go ahead and add some more now. All right. Now, I'll go ahead and do the bronze stone the same way. Starting from the edge. Going over the edge, honey. Right. Oh, that's a rock right there. Stone, glass. <laughs> I couldn't even get it out. All right. So I do have some left. So maybe you wouldn't have to need uh, four ounces each of that. <clears throat> I I think that maybe you could you you can get away with three ounces each on the side on both sides. Okay. So I'm gonna add some heat first. And when I add this heat, then I'm gonna pour my clear. Okay. Trying to get it really hot. Same thing over here. See if I get it really hot. And tears me up, y'all. <laughs> so now <clears throat> I'm just going to pour my clear until. I reach a very safe space. So I'm gonna start from here in the middle and let it spread out the way that it wants to spread. I'm pouring kind of fast, I know. Oh, that blue snuck over there. Y'all see it? Snuck right over there. I'm trying to get it pushed back some more. Oh, this mold takes a lot. Everything I've been doing lately been taking a whole lot. Okay. So, I'm guessing about maybe even four, maybe four ounces <clears throat> because you have so much space to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get these that got out of line. Um, like I said, I'm not really worried about it being out of place. Um, I do, however, want them to stick together. Um, 
Yeah. So it's this little mica that didn't uh, get mixed together good or something. I'm just trying to see. Oh, that's part of the blue, I think. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but it's it's okay. I know that. It's okay. Um, so I'm going to mix up some more resin. All right. And I have a good bit of the blue and a good bit of the brown. I have a mold here that I've been just pouring stuff in. So I'm going to pour. Let's see. Maybe. Let's see something, y'all. Let's see how much uh, can I add into this instead of making like a whole lot of clear. Just trying to see how much more. Oh, it can take it, of course. So I don't have to use that mold. I do think this is gonna be pretty as well. You know, there's a disrespectful fly. Please ignore him. Please. He's not important. I thought they learned when they got into my tic-tac-toe board, but they didn't. Only my live people would know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So, it looks as if we can make it, y'all. We can, we can make it with this. Now, it's still not completely, like, flush. But, let's see. This was 16 ounces, and then the bottom portion it was four ounces. So altogether, this mold took 20 ounces. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. So I'm gonna uh, pick up some things out of it. Like I see, you know, when you add the uh, crush mica mirror chips, I mean, when you add the crush mirror chips, um, they tend to be a little dusty sometimes, and sometimes that little bit of stuff can be in your work. Please pick it up out of your work, okay? Let's let's just make that uh, pick it up out of the work so that it won't look bad. Everything will look great. Maybe before I start picking, I need to add my heat again. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. Oh, I unplugged it again. I'm telling you, somebody find me a retractable heat gun. <laughs> I need a retractable heat gun. <laughs> oh my. Is there such thing? I don't know. I have no clue. All right. So first of all, I'm going to try to blow that blue back over to where it needs to be. I don't want it to like cover the rocks and some of it is trying to cover. Good. It's really hot. It's 
smoking. It's smoking hot. <laughs> okay. So that's that's what I wanted to do. Um, blow it around a little bit. Um, let the heat gun just get it where it needs to be. Um, I'm going to continue to take and make sure I got everything out. Um, I don't think I'll be adding any more. 20 ounces is enough for this thing, y'all. It really is. So I'm just trying to see what this is. <sighs> okay. There, I've, I've gotten that. Didn't have my paper towel tore off. My apologies. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that. What is this? I think that could be mica. I'm really not okay. That's not mica. That's that's like a um, glass chip that decided uh, it was just gonna do whatever. Okay, so. All I'm doing is just gathering up these chips, the mica chip, um, the mirror chips. I'm sorry. Please get it right, Felicia. I'm gathering them so that they won't look out of place. Okay, there's another. That was a mirror chip. So. I think that this is about all I need to hold you all on. Um, it will be cured fast because of the excess of heat that I've used. I'm trying to figure out is, is something there. I can't tell. Don't know. Um, let's bring these back in a little bit. I see a bubble there. I think that bubble right there was Oh, no, I think it rolls to the top. Kind of spread these chips out a little bit where they are, but I don't want them to get totally out of place. Okay. Um, I think that I'm happy with it. I don't think I have a problem. Everything is underneath. There's a bubble right there. I just popped it. <laughs> mm. I just hate that some of the blue kind of tried to go over a little bit. I don't like that part. Outside of that, uh, I think this piece will look just as good as the other one. <clears throat> just trying to blow the blue back. So misbehaving. I got this thing hot. No. This will cure faster because I've got it so hot. It's really hot. Like, it's not going to take long for that to cure at all. And maybe I shouldn't have got it that hot, but you know, I was trying to do some stuff. So, I'm, I'm wondering will I be able to, like, No, I don't, I don't think so. I'm trying to see, can I get this blue and this little mica chips that's, I mean, mica powder that wasn't extremely mixed right here. 
I was trying to see could I get that, but uh, maybe not. I don't know. Is something there. Girl, I can't let this rain catch me. Okay, so my loud mouth daughter, she came in <laughs> and I had to stop the video. Um, but this is uh everything with it. It looks nice. Um I I do like it. I don't have a problem with it. No, honey, I don't. So the next time I come back, we'll be doing the um we'll do these the handles we'll be doing those but you see uh right here i guess i got it too hot or whatever i don't know but there's some indentures or whatever so i'm gonna have to put a top coat on i'm not gonna bother y'all with putting a top coat on but um yeah I, I don't like that now but i will have it changed because i'll put a top coat on honey yes i will yes i will but I will be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. And this has never been a good thing for me to do, but I'm doing it with y'all because, you know, I just want it done. So I'm taking my little um, handle and I'm placing it about a quarter of an inch away from the side, all right? And I'm trying to locate it and put it in between right here at my five i measured it and five will be my center portion so that's what i've done and like i said i've got it about a quarter of an inch from the edge so i'm just gonna keep uh looking at it and making sure they stand up and we'll be back for the demold okay okay crafty creators i'm back and it's done never mind the nails the ashiness and all that kind of stuff it's first thing the next morning. A um, few things. I had to do like a great overage. So those, I might have to take the overage off. But um, it does look good. I, I must say it does look good. So um, being that I had the overage, I'm going to have to try my best to like separate it from the mold. All right. And then I'm going to take my overage off. Now, if my overage was like even, then I would say yes. Like if all of it looked like this type overage right here, I'll be okay with it. But it's not. So um, we're going to remove all of this. Came off very nice. Oh, really nice, y'all that's really nice like i love it i love it it's so pretty it is so pretty so i'm gonna get my overage off all right i know i'm probably getting ready to mess up my nails you know with breaking and all of that stuff okay just give me a moment just putting this to the side in my cleaning bin, all right? So, I'm trying to see what is the best thing for me to use for this overage. Um, I'm probably going to have to... It's not really bad either. You see, I can lift it up here, but this part, it, it is hard. So the reason I had to do go with the overage, y'all, because um, I had saw some lines, okay? And I did not like those lines. So let's see what we can do. Probably gonna have to go a little fast because my, um, my daughter's in the house with the grandbaby. So I'm just going slow. It is cutting nicely. Um, it's cutting really good. Okay. 
This says if you were cutting some cheese or something. Okay. This part here. I probably could have just picked it off. But I didn't. So let me go back to this side. And I'm just going to butt it right up close. To where it needs to come off at. Okay. Almost. So now it looks like I'm cutting into the actual piece of work. Just seeing, can I get it filed down a little bit more? All right. So yeah, I'll have to file the edge. No big deal. Um, okay. So I've got that part taken off and it's not bad. Just go back and do some filing, all right? But I had the lines and I was like, oh no, I gotta put a, another thin top coat on it. And um, when I did that and I saw it, I was like, oh man, this is gonna be all of my work for nothing. But it ended up, is nice. The part that I was worried about, which was this in here, it looks as if it's um, not right, but it is smooth. See, can I, yeah, you see how it's, it is smooth. So I was really worried about that. But, you know, it's fine. Now this one I may can just stand it up like I did before. And just go along that edge. And to me it's a lot better if I can do it like this in one clean sweep. Okay. And it's cutting off really nicely. Nice. So I'm going to see, can I turn it around and do the other little teeny bit here. Okay. And now I'm going to do this side here. And I'm doing it so that, you know, I still can stay on that edge, but still try to make it as clean up a sweep as I possibly can. I'm probably like really loud in your ear. I hope not. But um, that's because I'm by the mic. Now this part... concentrating a little bit okay so I have all of the edges off and I didn't want to do like a um I just I really didn't want to do like cover the edges but I'm gonna have to only because I had to do this step here with the filing now so I had to put that down for a second I thought my mother-in-law was trying to call me, but um, we got her a new phone and she's just having a time with that new phone. So I'm just throwing away this stuff. But I love how this turned out. I really, really, really do. Um, it matches my coasters, okay? So it looks really good, it does. I, re I truly, truly like this set. Maybe I need to turn it, let me turn it around like this. <laughs> Do I have it the right way? It's okay. So, I hope that you all enjoyed this. Um, I will be taking pictures of it. What's that? Oh, that's that little that was on the back 
Okay, and yeah, I turned these over um, for the back side to show. Um, the back side looks better like this. I don't know why, but it does. And so, um, yeah, it turned out great. So y'all let me know how you like it. I mean, I, I think I really do want to go across these edges in the silver on the platter because um, I just don't want the sides to look like that from where I cut it, okay? I really don't. But it is gorgeous, honey. It is gorgeous. I'm trying to take some stuff off my table. Um, uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Look at my little um, hand prints. I got to wipe it off. <laughs> I don't know what was on my hands, but, you know, I got to clean it off before I take pictures. But that that really is nice, y'all. It really is. Um, trying to let you see, like, everything with it. Um, it's a gorgeous piece. Really gorgeous. The only thing I got to do, like I said, is do my fouling on the edge. I want to make sure that's nice. Um, I like that you can see through. Did I show y'all the back? The back is really nice, too. I think it helped uh, pouring that up. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I think it helped putting that one thin layer on the bottom. And then when I went back, I put the clear on top of the rocks. Blowed my heat so that it would, you know, possibly couldn't have no bubbles in it. Um... Oh, that's a piece of mirror chip. But it is, it's lovely. It's lovely. It's a nice conversational piece. Um, it is a nice serving tray. You know, grab it by the handles and put your stuff up there. And hey, honey, you got it. It would be nice. I like to do one of these um, one day and put my uh, Druzy insert in, you know, so that the we can hold a cup up there and not worry about, ooh, am I going to drop it? Am I going to drop it? But this is nice. Look at me. This is nice. See, those are the parts that I have to file right there. And see, I don't like it. I don't like it like that. I really don't. So, I'm going to let you all go. But, y'all give this a try. You, you really may like it. Give it a try. Um, I like it. I really like it. The only thing that I don't like about it, y'all, to be honest, is that we don't have the diamond edge. Like, we have the diamond edge on the coasters. I don't like that part. But outside of that, it's a winner for me. It's a winner for me. I love the colors. I love how everything came together. I love how it's put together. It's just like, okay, this is nice. This is really nice. And, uh, excuse me. I think I'm going to try it again soon. Not right now because, like, I'm running out of resin. And um, I want to make sure that I have enough resin for it. Because I think I poured at least... 24 ounces of resin in this alone okay um for the coasters i can't remember i have to go back on the video but they took a lot as well so when you do when you do this or you try to do a set make sure you have enough resin um from the start because it does take a lot it, it takes a lot of resin okay so, if you liked it, like it, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about it. Um, I love it. So, um, nothing is going to take away my, uh, my, the, the way that I love it. Nothing, I, nothing you can say. <laughs> nothing you can say. I know I have, uh, and this, this overage, y'all, it wouldn't have happened 
but I saw some lines and I was like, oh no, I've, I'm going to have to do another top coat. But I was already at the top. Okay, so that's why I had to have so much overage because I still wanted to take more and pour across the top. Okay, and the, the part that I poured across the top, it is not included with the 24 ounces. So just make sure that you have that for this mold because it, it does take a lot. Okay, so I will see you guys later. Um, I don't know when you'll get this video. Maybe... Thursday because I do have a live tonight so I'm thinking Thursday um, you will get this uh, video and today is Wednesday so Thursday the 17th June 17th I think on on my videos I want to start uh, saying the date because um, some people look at my videos and think that you know it's something that's just started that I just started or whatever, but I, anyway, I don't have to go through all of that. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.